and welcome to the Worst Possible Commander Show. It's me, it's CGB, and I'm here with my friends. This is Gina. Hi. That is Blake. Hey. And there is Shay. Hello. And we are here to play Commander for all of you. On the Worst Possible Commander Show, we like to tell each other right to your face, right at the start, the worst possible thing our deck can do to each other. And I am playing a new one. It's Lara Croft Tomb Raider. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Fresh out of Secret Lair. She is a 3-4 first striking reach who attacks and exiles cards from any player's graveyard if they are a legendary land or a legendary artifact. Then you may cast it that turn. You still have to pay the mana cost for it. This deck is built mostly around legendary artifacts and legendary equipments that create a lot of treasures because the idea being that if I get enough treasures, I can do all kinds of fun, explosive things. I have cards like Reaver Cleaver, that is legendary equipment. If it hits, you make a lot of treasures. I can go infinite with that if I'm lucky enough with Aggravated Assault, which lets me pay five mana for another combat. So I could have endless combat. Uh, Godo, Bandit Warlord, and Helm of the Host can also create endless combat. Mm -hmm. And they've also also a sneaky little combo with Underworld Breach, Lotus Petal, and Brain Freeze that can create infinite casts of Lotus Petal and then mill out the table. Not infinite. Eventually I run out of Graveyard, but it should be enough to storm cast Brain Freeze and mill you all out. So I'm messing around with my Graveyard and I'm trying to hit you in combat to generate a lot of treasures to do broken things. <laughs> so, Lara Croft, we're gonna raid tombs. We're gonna find cool stuff. What are you gonna do, Gina? Um, I'm going to do fun stuff with Lenore, Autumn Sovereign. Uh, she, uh, at the beginning of combat on your turn, you can put a plus one, plus one counter on a target creature you control. And then if I control three or more creatures with different powers, I get to draw a card, which is great for me. And the worst possible thing I can do is Sagarda's Summons and the creatures I control that have plus one, plus one counters on them get to become angels and it's great. So you're just going to be killing us again. Oh. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Give us a break. <laughs> I don't think she has that level no, of chill no, in her. I, you will, I mean, if you see her pass, it's it, like without casting something that's going to hurt you, it's a good day. That's true. All right. <laughs> and a rare day. <laughs> On the wings of angels. Oh. All right, Blake. What are, oh God, is it, are you doing this again? Yes, I'm playing Lord Windgrace, but the cutest art for Lord Windgrace. And we're back with Jun Lands, my favorite, and I am super excited. So this one's a bit more aggressive on combos to try to finish the game out so CGB complains less as I fetch land. Impossible. He <laughs> loves when I fetch land in lands decks. So this deck has a couple of them, but it's going to try to win with things like Kodama plus green sleeves or Retreat to Hagra and a Golgari Rot Farm. So with Retreat to Hagra, I just drain everyone for infinite amounts of landfall. Green sleeves, I make a ton of badgers, which is just the best. Mm -hmm. And I'll find a way to kill you guys. Or I could do, you know, your Dryad of Elysian Grove, Scapeshift, Valakut kill. I'm just gonna try to kill you guys with lands in so many different ways and I'm so excited until Gina kills me on turn six. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you in one way. And you two, you two <laughs> took note of the like the combos and the infinite and the damage, right? You're not yeah. just looking at the cute cat, right? No, they should definitely that be looking at the really cute, cute cat. That's a good distraction. You're not, not going to fuel me with the cute, cute cat. We no can't way. kill the cute cat. It's That's why we play oh this art so people don't attack my commander as much. Uh, I chose the right pod to bring, to bring this bad boy <laughs> to. I did. I mean, I, I see how this is going to go. All right, Shay. What you got? What's the worst possible thing you're going to do? Yeah, so today I'm playing Killian, Ink Duelist. He is a 2-2 with lifelink and menace, and he says spells you cast that target a creature cost two less to cast. Mm -hmm. So this deck is mostly built around enchantments. I'm gonna be trying to enchant a lot of things, maybe enchant a few of your things with some auras that are not so nice, but for the worst possible thing that I can do, um, I'm gonna be going for some commander damage here. Uh, mm -hmm. So I've got a few different pieces in here that could give my commander plus one, plus one for each enchantment I control. An example of that would be Helm of the Gods. Uh, and so, yeah, make him nice and big and, and buff, and mm -hmm. then I swing and, and murder you in one shot. White paws, but with black. Yeah. 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 You're not fooling me either. All right. <laughs> well, this is going to be an epic beatdown of some proportion. If you also want to 
apply a magic related beatdown to your friends, <laughs> you can use the promo code WORST at CoolStuffInc.com to get a discount on all of the MTG singles and product that you order. Do that and you'll support the show at the same time. Thank you to Cool Stuff Inc. for sponsoring our video. And thank you to Ultimate Guard for providing all the sweet deck boxes and sleeves and play mats for the show. Now, it's time to dive in. Let the nonsense begin. All right, I won the die roll, so I will go first and draw. Don't mind if I do. Let's play Croft Manor, as I mean Command Tower, as wow. it is <laughs> popularly known. Yes. And I will pass the turn to you, Gina. All right, I am going to play a Temple Garden, and I will pay two life so that it will not be tapped, and I will tap it for my good friend, Delighted Halfling. Mm. Yay, and pass the turn. Nice. All right, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna play a tap Zeotaurus Proving Ground, and I'm gonna pass the turn. All right, I will draw, and I'll play a Fabled Passage as my land for turn. I'm gonna crack it right away. Okay, I grabbed a Swamp. It's gonna enter tapped, and I'll pass. Cool, draw. Oh yeah, I'm gonna tap for green and cast Exploration. <gasps> I'm gonna play an additional land on my turn. Mm. I'm gonna play an Island. Mm. I'm gonna play a Waterlog Grove. I have to pay a life every time I use Waterlog Grow for mana. I'm gonna cast an Is It Signet. Whoa. And I'm gonna pass to you, Gina. Ramp You're not city. supposed to play an exploration before I do. <laughs> I'm sorry. You should be. Untap, draw. I'm gonna play Forest. Tap two for Gyre Sage. Blake, I attack you for one. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> You sounded just as delighted as that halfling sounded. Just wait, why, that. wait, wait, wait. Why Blake? Yeah, why me? Why Blake? He's why? across from me. That's <laughs> fair. It's the quickest attack I can make. That's fair, yeah. Delighted halfling doesn't have to walk too far. Seating chart got you this time. Yeah, hey. Doesn't it always? I'm done. All right. I will untap. Draw for turn. I will play a basic forest. And I'm going to cast Rampant Growth. All right. I got this gorgeous basic mountain. And I'm going to pass the turn. All right, I'll untap and draw. I'm gonna play Bright Climb Pathway as my land for turn. Okay, I'm gonna pay two and I'm gonna cast Killian, Ink Duelist. Mm. I'll pass the turn. Ooh. Untap, draw. Well, why not? Uh, let's lose a life. I found the one ring. <gasps> it's here. Mm. Uh, so I'll gain protection from everything till my next turn. I'll tap it for a bird encounter and draw a card. And that's not land, so pass to you, Gina. Untap. Draw. I will play a planes, and I'm gonna tap four for my commander, Leonor. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with it. Leonor. Yes, yes. Because the queen is tougher than the Gyre Sage, Gyre Sage will get a plus one, plus one counter. Thank you very much. And now I will go to combat, and my commander lets me put a plus one, plus one counter on a target creature. I'm just gonna go ahead and make the Sage Beggar. And because I have three different powers, I get to draw a card. Yay! Hmm. <laughs> to explain my thought process, here's where uh, I'm this at. This is where I get attacked. The ring is kind of preventing an attack from getting through. That's mm. true. Shay has a pretty cool creature. Might get mad at me, might get me back yeah, later. Yeah, uh huh. Mm, yep. And mm. you are. Very good looking. So oh. I'm going to punch you. Oh, I'll take it. Funny. That's worth it. That is worth it. Well, now I'm going to be fighting for now our I'm getting, favor. I you need basically, to punch me. So I'm now, now CGB's going to attack me out of jealousy, which is not why you normally attack. I she used I to just, attack me this way. I thought maybe a different tactic would help me get my attacks uh, through. Well, I can't block, so you're getting your attacks through no matter what. Oh, that's funny. I'm going to untap. Draw for turn. I'm gonna spend three and I'm gonna play Nissa Resurgent Animus. I'm then going to play a Maze of If, which will trigger Nissa and I'll make a green mana. <laughs> Maze of If, uh, it doesn't tap for mana. But it provides me a mana. You've got a green mana. And then I'm gonna pass my turn. Yeah. <laughs> Smooth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'll pass to you, Shrek. Okie doke. Untap, draw. I'm gonna play a Prismatic Vista as my land for turn and I'll pay a life and crack it right away. 
Uh, okay, I grabbed a planes with the Fista. Uh, then I'm gonna tap two for core spirit dancer. Uh, it gets plus two, plus two for each aura attached to it. And whenever you cast an aura spell, you may draw a card. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move to combat and I'm gonna swing at Gina for two. Two lifelink menace. All right, I'll take two. And I'll gain two life from the lifelink. Then I'm gonna pass the turn. All right. Upkeep, bird encounter, ouchie, draw. I'll tap the ring and draw two cards. Second bird encounter on it. All right, tap three. Let's cast Quicksmith Genius. This mm. is a three, two human artificer. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under my control, I may discard a card. And if I do, I draw a card and then I'm done. Go ahead, Gina. Untap. I'm going to play a reliquary tower for my land. And I'm going to tap two for a Dusk Legion Duelist. Mm. Has vigilance, and whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are on the Dusk Legion Duelist, I get to draw a card once per turn. Seems like a good thing to put counters on. <laughs> yeah. So I was thinking that I might by going to combat. Okay. Now that I'm in combat, I would like to put the counter on my duelist. Uh, now I will draw a card for the Dusk Legion Duelist. And because I have all this power still, I get to draw a card for Lenore. That was a really fun combat. So That's fun. the first time I've gone to combat and not punched. Wow. Um, Ever. So we just, um, I made a scary face at Blake I for zero. I saw it. And I'm gonna tap my reliquary tower for a soul ring. So I'm gonna tap my soul ring. I've got two colorless. I'm gonna tap my temple garden for one white. I'm gonna tap my gyre sage for two green. And I'm going to cast the Knight of Autumn. Ooh. And when it enters the battlefield, I can put two plus one plus one counters on Knight of Autumn. And with the remaining mana I have to spend, I'm going to play Hamza, Guardian of Arashen. <laughs> it's an elephant. <laughs> It's a big elephant, and it costs one less to cast for each creature I control with a plus one plus one counter on it, which is a bunch now, and that's great. And going forward, my creature spells will cost one less for each creature I control with a plus one plus one counter on it. Yo. Yeah. yeah. That's scary. And my elephant was so strong when it arrived that the Gyre Sage also felt strength. <laughs> I can't believe the mana worked out perfectly for that. That's crazy. That was wild. The delighted halfling uh, doing the legendary so yeah. gets you the yeah. white mana, yeah. I was like reading the card for so long, I was like, how'd she pay six for that? It, it was magical in the game of magic. It's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I will untap. Draw for turn. Alrighty. I am going to play Takanuma Abandoned Mire. It's my land for turn. This will trigger Nissa. I'm going to make a green mana. I'm going to spend four mana plus my floating, and I'm gonna play Lord Windgrace. Meow. <gasps> All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and plus two Lord Windgrace, bringing him to seven, and I'm gonna discard a card and draw a card. If it's a land, I draw two cards. I bet it's a land. It's a nurturing peat land. And then I'm gonna draw two. All right, and then I'm going to finish my turn off with a Zurin Orb. So the more lands you have, the more life you have. Yes, indeed. Go ahead, Shay. Hmm, okay, gonna untap. Um, all right, I'm gonna play Planes as my land for turn. Then I'm gonna tap two to cast Light Paws, Emperor's Voice. Mm, I knew it. <laughs> I knew I no. knew this was stuff Shay is up to. Yes, yes, yes indeed. Uh, okay, and then I'm gonna pay just one because I've got a reduced cost here on uh, spells from Killian. I'm gonna cast Light of Promise and I'm gonna put it on Killian. Enchanted oh creature has, whenever you gain life, put that many plus one plus one counters on this creature. When it enters, when you cast it, it triggers Spirit oh, Dancer. Geez. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw off of the Spirit Dancer. And then, yeah, that's gonna be a light pause trigger. Let's see what happens. This isn't good, this is bad. This can't be great. So I have to grab something three or less. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, okay, so I selected Timely Ward to go onto Light Paws, which will give it Indestructible. <laughs> oh, just Indestructible. <laughs> just uh. Indestructible. Well, unfortunately, CGB, Yo. you're my best target. Am I? So I'm gonna move to combat and I'm gonna swing on you with Killian. All right, we're gonna send a message then. I'm gonna go to take one damage. I'm going to suspend Killian. Oh. Exile it with two time counters and it gains suspend. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, so this will go with it, right? The light of promise? Or no, no, this isn't phasing. The light of promise has to go to the graveyard. Dang! Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. that hurts. Um, cool. Well, that's my turn. I'm gonna pass. All right. Let's do the drawing of the land right now. I'm gonna lose two life to the ring. I'm gonna draw a turn. Draw for turn. Is that what we're doing? I mean, desperation. Uh, all right. Let's tap the ring and draw three, because I believe there are lands in these three cards. There are not. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no. But don't worry, don't feel bad for me. I never do, but... Don't feel bad for me. We're gonna play a Lotus Petal. Uh, that's gonna trigger the genius. I'm gonna discard a card to draw a card. I'm gonna discard an Umazawa's Jite and draw. That is also not a land. But don't worry, we're gonna do as much as we have to. I'm gonna cast Wheel of Fortune. All players discard hands and draw seven. Oh. All right, fresh seven, because there are gonna be lands in here. Jeez, I, I see a it. one ring in there. A one ring. Jeez, yeah. well, there can only be ones, so that makes sense. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna play a legendary land called Hammerheim. I can tap this to remove all land walking ability from target creature. Mm. I'm gonna play a Scalding Tarn. I'm gonna crack that and go find a land. Uh, I have fetched a taiga that goes right on the battlefield there. Let's play a soul ring and trigger the genius. So I will discard a birds of paradise and draw a card. All right, I'm gonna tap the soul ring. I'm gonna play Felwar Stone. I'm gonna trigger my genius. I'm gonna discard the brain freeze and draw a card. Weird. Then I'm gonna lose one life and I'm going to cast my commander. Lara Croft, <coughs> Tomb Ooh. Raider. Ooh. Very cool. I'm going to move to combat. I am going to attack Blake's Lord Windgrace with Quick Smith Genius. For three? It's a three two. Okay. I'm not afraid to punch a cat. Put that on the record. <laughs> Mom, can you come pick me up? <laughs> it got weird. Uh, I will not block. More cat. What about your maze of it? No, I'm saving that for bigger fish to fry, potentially. Wonder why I brought that up. Uh, all right, then raid trigger, I will make a treasure, and that will trigger the genius, because it's whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under my control. I will discard a tropical island and draw a card. And I'm done. Go for it, Gina. Woo, I'm gonna untap all my things. I'm going to play a command tower for my land. I'm gonna tap my soul ring, my halfling, and a forest for a party tree. Whoa. What's a party tree? It's a place where we raise the roof. No, no, what's the card do? What <laughs> it's is a it? Great oh, it's, it's a great engine. Oh, it's a great <laughs> All right, I'm gonna tap my Gyre Sage and my planes. I've got two floating green so that I can play Juniper Order Ranger. Um, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under my control, I can put a plus one, plus one counter on that creature and one on this guy. All right, that, that is... <laughs> So many plus one plus that one counters, guys. That is really bad. Uh, yeah, we're gonna mana drain that one. <laughs> we're gonna sack the lotus petal and the treasure, and I'm gonna wow. counter that one. It's too powerful. That was no. That was it's too powerful. That was much needed. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna regret this later. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this in combat. <laughs> Fine. I'm gonna You're, use my right. two floating green to play Renata Call to the Hunt. How about that? Because Renata, <laughs> can Renata come to the party tree? Yeah, okay. yeah, to the party tree. Uh, because of Great Henge, I will put a counter on you and draw a card. I'm gonna tap my Temple Garden for white to play an Esper Sentinel. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Oh, it enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it, and another one for the party tree. All right, this is a little bit gross. I'm okay. gonna tap my Command Tower for green to play my primeval protector, which costs 10 less. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> no way. Yo. Wait, what is this thing? Um, well, it costs one less for each creature your opponents control, and when it enters the battlefield, I put a plus one, plus one counter on every other creature I control. And this came in with two. And I draw a card. Wow. And yeah, so, and then another counter on every creature you control. Yeah. All right, uh, you put a counter on Dusk Legion Doula so you get to draw another card. Thank you. And now I'm gonna play one for zero because of all the stuff counting stuff down. This one is Triskillian. Triskillian, oh, Triskillian. artifact creature. <laughs> oh, <good> banger. <laughs> it enters the battlefield with three plus one plus one counters on it and an additional two 
because of party tree and nonsense. Renata, because of Renata. Renata. So I'm going to go to combat yeah. uh -huh. and put a plus one, plus one counter on Triskelion. Is that a seven, seven Triskelion? It could be, yes. Jeez. <laughs> CGB, you mana drained me. So I'm going to attack so long you ago. <laughs> with the Knight of Autumn, Hamza, and the Dusk Legion Duelist. It was so many mana ago. It but... was so long ago. Yeah. That's uh, 15 coming at you. 15. Yes. Uh, Blake, I don't, can we semi agree that there's a specific problem at the table? I am tired of Shay, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm talking about you. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I'm just saying like, um, would you take, we could, would you take any kind of a, you're not using that Maze of Ith. Yeah, I Would can... you take any kind of an IOU on the Maze of Ith? Like I will, uh, to, if I have the ability, you will choose the target of removal spell in the future, or counter spell. I like the premise, I don't like the parameters of the deal. What can you give me that's better? How do we, so how do we phrase that in a way? It's like basically, uh, next removal spell I cast, you can choose the target. Okay, that's, that's fine. Okay, I offer you next removal spell, yeah, also including bounce spell or counter spell, you choose the target. All right, I will maze of if, um, the big one, please. <laughs> I was, I'm gonna maze of it the 6-6 six, six I was thinking about. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so that's gonna untap and it's not gonna deal any combat damage this turn. All Good right. night, elephant. So that still leaves a 5-4 and a 4-4 four, four coming at me. Mm -hmm. uh, I will block the 5-4 with, no, I won't. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not blocking with Lara, I love her. Mm -hmm. uh, so how much is that? That's nine. nine. I'll take the nine. I am down to 23. Sheesh. I passed the turn to you, Blake. <sighs> oh, okay. I wasn't, I'm not the same man I was when that turn started. I'm gonna tap Mountain for Soul Ring. Do you pay the Esper tax? It's only four. Thank you. Uh-huh. All right, then I'm gonna pay three mana to play a Horn of Greed. So whenever anybody at the table plays a land, Let's they go. draw a card. <laughs> Exploration gaming. Yeah, that's good for you, buddy. If there are lands in this deck. All right, I'm gonna minus Lord Windgrace. And I'm gonna return two lands from my graveyard to the battlefield. They are going to be a swamp and a mountain. This is gonna trigger Nissa twice, so I'm gonna make two mana. We'll call it uh, two green mana. So I won't draw my two from Horn of Greed because I didn't play them, but I will do my Nissa thing. So I made two mana and I'm gonna flip until I see an elf or elemental. I'm cheering for Yargle. Is Yargle an elemental? I think so. I think it is. I saw a glacial chasm and I'm all, a strip mine. Look at this sweaty gamer. That's really Production sad. is telling me that Yargle's a frog that's, spirit. Oh wait, I saw an elf. Well, I hit literally the worst hit, but that's okay. It's still a great card. Elvish Reclaimer. I don't know if that's a bad hit. That That is a glacial chasm, as we now know, on a stick. Oh, it is that, that's true. All right, so I will put Elvish Reclaimer into my hand from Nyssa. I'm then going to play a forest as my land for turn. I'm gonna make another green mana and I will draw a card off Horn of Greed. I'm gonna spend my first green mana to play my Elvish Reclaimer. I'm gonna spend my other two mana for a Sylvan Library. All right, on that I'm gonna pass to you, Shay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna untap. Uh, my upkeep, I'm gonna take away a suspend counter. Yep. And I'll draw for turn. So Killian's coming back on her next upkeep with haste. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna play Castle Lockthwain as my land for turn. Okay, so I will draw a card from Horn of Greed. All right, I'm gonna pay four and I'm gonna cast Smothering Tithe. Oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That triggers the Esper Sentinel. Uh, I cannot pay four. Thanks. A measly four. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I might need blockers, so I'm just gonna hold there and pass. <laughs> All right, I will okay, never untap. Mind. Yeah, go for it. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're. Th I know what you're thinking. I know. I, I know. I got you, Shay. Don't worry. I'm gonna lose three. Sweet. I'm gonna go to my draw step. Sweet. I'm not paying for your smothering tithe, Shay. Thank you. I'm Enjoy. gonna make a treasure token. I'm gonna make you more treasures than you even know what to do with, actually. I will play a volcanic island as land for turn, trigger horn of greed. I will draw, I will not pay. All right, I have five colorless mana in my mana pool from the mana drain. 
I'm going to tap this one ring, go into four bird encounters. I'm going to draw four cards and I'm not going to pay. See, Shay, we're friends. Mm. Cool. <laughs> four more treasures. Sweet. Four more treasures. You're gonna need a bigger dice. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, here we are. This is our life. Uh, let's go tap for three green and use four colors in the pool. Total of seven, three of it green. I'm gonna try to cast a Nyx Bloom Ancient, which says if I tap a permanent for mana, it produces three times that much mana instead. I'm gonna tap my soul ring for six colorless mana. <laughs> mm -hmm. ah! Wow, that seems totally fine. <laughs> I'm gonna use two of it to cast a Talisman of Impulse. When that enters, it'll trigger my quick seal silver genius, so I'll discard a card and draw. That's mana positive. I'm gonna discard Ragavan, the nimble pilfer, and we'll draw. And I'll make another treasure. Yep, you make treasures. Sweet. I'll play Training center from my hand. That will trigger Horn of Greed. I will draw a card. I will not pay, even though I have all this mana and could. <laughs> and that's your second land? That's my second land from Exploration. All right, I'm going to pay one. I'm going to cast a Soul Cleaver. Tarian Soul Cleaver. This is a new one. It's a one colorless. Equipped creature has Vigilance. Whenever another artifact or creature is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on equipped creature. It equips for two. When this enters, I will trigger the quick, the quick smith genius. I will discard the Simic Growth Chamber and draw a card, and I'm still not paying. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Sweet. I got standards. Uh, let's use the colorless in the mana pool. I'm also gonna tap this, which is gonna make three colorless, so I'm down two colorless in the mana pool. Let's equip the Soul Cleaver. Uh, I would like to equip the Soul Cleaver to my genius. All right, I'll spend one of my colorless and sack my waterlogged grove to draw a card. I'm not paying for tithe. Just... Cool. Okay. Uh, I, I don't will... like that noise. Yeah. I'm gonna use the I colorless to activate the signet, which will create three blue and three red. I'm gonna use one blue and one red, leaving four in the pool. I'm gonna cast a really fun card called Reckless Handling. I am not paying for Esper Sentinel, so you can draw. This searches my library for an artifact. I reveal it. I put it into my hand. I shuffle, then I discard a card at random. If an artifact card was discarded this way, it does two damage to each opponent. What? Does that resolve? Yeah. I'm no, going to no, choose no, Mind no. Slaver, which can take control of a player's next turn. I'm gonna put Mind Slaver into my hand. Now, I have to discard a card at random. Discard. If the discard artifact was discarded, slaver. two damage to each opponent. I think Gina should choose. You think Gina should choose? I think so. Yes. All right. Gina, here's the cards in my hand. See if you can pick the Mind Slaver. Decide our fate. This one. And Flip it. it. Yeah. What is it? It's a swan song. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that's so sad because I was going to ask if he could counter his own the mind slaver. It's already gone. Yeah. I'm going to use the, a red and a blue from the pool. I'm going to cast a card called Reckless Fire Weaver. It says whenever an artifact enters a battlefield under my control, one damage to each opponent. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So still, still two in the mana pool. Bruh. <laughs> You're so crazy. I'm going to cast Mind Slaver. I got a question for you, CGB, on the stack. Do you have any counter spells? Because we have a deal where you would counter something of my choice. Why would you want to counter the Mind Slaver? So, I, do you have a counter spell for it? Should I fight? Okay. So, this possible. you can Mind Slaver Gina, but none of them creatures are coming at me. Or I'm, I'm forcing you to counter your own Mind Slaver what? with your own spell. You want to get two for one? Two for zero? I don't want to, no. Um. This feels really bad for me. You know what, though? You know what? That's fair. You know what, Blake? Now what's up? Is that your choice? Yeah, that's my deal. So, if I say no, if I say I'm gonna do whatever I want with my Mind Slaver, you're gonna make me counter it, and that and that ends our deal? That's that's what you're saying? Why does it feel like a trap? This feels like the most CGB <laughs> trap I've ever heard. Um, it's so tense here right now. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can feel this. <laughs> so, if you... How many cards do you have in your hand? Two. Two cards. And you have access to six, eight, eight mana. You have nothing else floating, just those two. Two okay. floating mana, two untapped lands that tap for triple. Yep, so eight mana. Um, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing though. 
<laughs> All right, Gina, let's turn the tables. If I uh -huh. make him counter it, you can't attack me next turn. Oh my God, the politics. Blake, I won't attack you next what a, turn. What a pleasure this deal yeah. has been. I'll see you at the party next tree. Turn. If what? Oh, if I make him counter, if I make you counter your own mind slaver. Okay, well, it's on the stack. CGB, I'd like to invoke our deal. Yeah. And make you counter the mind slaver. Fierce guardianship, <laughs> my mind slaver. Whoa. That's crazy, dude. Whoa. You did it. Two mana. Last card. Okay. Underworld Breach. She. <laughs> Each non land card in my graveyard has escape. And you have the a escape Lotus cost battle? is equal to its mana cost, plus exile three cards from the graveyard. Okay, so Breach resolves. Yep. All right, here we go. Here we go. I am going to escape Lotus Petal, exiling these three cards. I'm going to sacrifice it for three mana. I have no cards in hand for the genius. I do deal one damage to all of you with Reckless Fireweaver. Taking it. <laughs> Ouch. All right. Uh, I will escape Lotus Petal again. Like Zoink Scoo. Like Zoink Scoo. And this will deal one damage to all of you with Reckless Fireweaver. And I will sacrifice it for three mana. We'll call it blue, because blue is a great color. That's I'll hilarious. pay six mana and escape Mind Slaver from my graveyard. Six mana, leaving two floating. Activate Mind Slaver, I'm going to target Gina. I will control your next turn. Uh, one damage from the Mind Slaver entering the yep. battlefield. I will escape Lotus Petal, and one damage to each of you. Mm -hmm. I will sack it for three mana, go up to five. I will escape Lotus Petal, go up to eight, one damage to all of you. No matter what I do, I couldn't stop, oh. I thought two. we had him. All right, one more time, escape Lotus Petal, uh, one damage to all of you, sacrifice it, 11 mana. I will escape Mind Slaver. Again, wait. <laughs> oh no. Wait. <laughs> oh no. All right, and uh, that will cost me six. I have one card left in my graveyard. And then I'll use four mana going down to one mana in my pool. I will sacrifice Mind Slaver targeting Blake. Oh no. I forgot to be adding plus one plus one counters to my genius. It gets six plus one plus one counters from those Lotus Petals and Mind Slaver moments. Uh, the man in my man pool is going to dissipate. This is his dream. He just wants to play magic by himself. <laughs> I'm going to move to combat. <laughs> Any responses? I don't like it. Uh, before you uh, go all the way into combat, um, I would like to pew pew you with Triskelion. Uh, who? To Lara, your girlfriend. <laughs> you guys were getting a little too close. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Uh, Lara is gonna cost you four plus one plus one counters there, and so she will die. Down to two counters. Moving to combat, Blake. What's up, dude? Yo. What's up? Uh, quick Smith Genius with six plus one plus one counters on it, and Vigilance coming at you. I'm gonna double block. If you're gonna take my turn, you're not gonna have any creatures for it. All right, damage? Yep. All right, they die. Two plus one plus one counters on the genius. Second main phase, my hand's empty. My graveyard's almost empty. I'm tapped out. Uh, I've got nothing else. Anything before uh, I take Gina's turn? Uh, before you're done, I would like to um, turn my party tree so I can gain two life because you took a lot of it and I needed to party. Not as much as I wish I could have. I would also like to throw my counters at your board. Throw them at his face. He deserves it. And you also can't kill him. So. Oh, I can be any target. Um, I'm just gonna send the two at your life total. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice, Gina. Yeah, got me. Send a message. I'm down to 18. Yep. <laughs> my turn? Not until you put that stupid underworld breach in the graveyard. Can we hold the cards together so I can feel like I'm having my turn? Aww. <laughs> you can hold them. Only, you only can hold if them. CGB and I do the same thing. <laughs> this is what I've been sitting on. Uh-huh. I also have this. Uh-huh. So um, these two together uh -huh. take care of some things. Sorry, I hope you're uh -huh. fucking sweet. <laughs> I'm not gonna enter. Uh-huh. <laughs> and That's my fear. I finally but... drew enough planes so that I can play both of them in the same turn. It's our turn, honey. Yep. Yeah, draw draw for turn. Yep. Yep. Are we going to pay for the smothering tithe? We're not paying for smothering tithe. Okay. No. Cool. No, no, no. No, no, no. Does no, he no. let you make any decisions? <laughs> no. <laughs> 
What? Drink them if you got them. <laughs> I mean, you know, you wanted to do this anyway, right? You you can do do the honors. Put that on the stack. Do it. I love that this is just do it. Do it. Is there you something order wise that works uh, better? Uh, let's so. tap this and this for white and white. And tap these and go ahead. Go ahead. Show show them what you got. I would like. Like? I... Will. Will. I will play, on CGB's behalf, a damning verdict. The heck is which that? Which would destroy all creatures with no counters on them. Oh. Someone wanted a board wipe. That's the opposite of the board, a board wipe. board wipe has arrived. It's literally the opposite. Just what you've all been waiting for. Oh. Destroy all creatures with no counters on them. Honestly, right now, it's just the, the core the spirit, spirit dancer, dancer, the Nyx Bloom Nyx Ancient, Bloom? and the Reckless Fire Yeah. Weaver. And the Triskelion dies from my board. All right, so four plus one plus one counters on my Quicksmith Genius because of the Soul Cleaver. I'm going to play a fortified village and reveal this plains to uh, her opponents. <laughs> and uh, we'll draw a card from Horn of Greed. All right, uh, we'll tap this for white and white and green. And we're gonna cast a Grasp of Fate. Wow. When it enters the battlefield for each opponent, exile up to one target non-land permanent they control until this leaves the battlefield. I think we should exile Blake's Soul Ring. Shay's Light Paws. Uh, by the way, you get a treasure from the mm. trigger on the Horn of Greed here. Thanks. And from my board, we'll go ahead and exile, is it up to? Up to. Oh, we're not gonna exile anything from my board. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. I feel like there's something um, right there. That would be pretty good. Oh. In response, I'm gonna tap a mana, crack a treasure, to cast a Benevolent Blessing, to enchant Light Paws, and give him protection from White. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, let me let me check my other hand for a response. Nope, don't nothing in that <laughs> hand. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, that that happens. Cool, and that's gonna give me a light pause trigger. Yep. So you can search for an aura. Okay, I grabbed a spirit mantle. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one and has protection from creatures. Getting spoopy. So it has protection from white, but not that removes auras, mm -hmm. and it has protection from creatures, and it's indestructible, and it's a 3-3? Three, three? It's a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. <laughs> uh, tap the party tree, gain two. We're gonna cast an Elvish Mystic. Leave one green in the mana pool. When this enters, uh, we'll put a plus two plus one plus one counters on it, one from Renata, one from the Great Henge. We'll draw a card, we'll not pay for Smothering Tithe. We will pay a one green in the mana pool. We'll tap the Gyre Sage for six. <laughs> six and seven. We're going down to five because we still get cost reduction from Hansa. We're going to play Champion of Lamhold. Creatures of power less than its power can't block creatures you control. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield, put a counter on it. Champion enters, gets two counters, one from Renata, one from Great Henge. We will draw a card. We will not pay for Smothering Tithe, even though we have mana in the mana pool, because we are maniacs. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, let's go to combat. Yay, when we go to combat, we can put a plus one, plus one counter on something. Where is it gonna go? Uh, let's put it on the Champion of Lamhold. I love that for us. And we draw a card from Lenoir. We sure do. Um, do the thing you like to do and send it all at Shay. Hey Shay. Hi. It's all coming at you. <laughs> awesome. You know what, Shay? Uh-huh. I want you to tell in these nerds so good, so I will Maze of Ith the Renata. <sighs> Thank you. Yep. I feel... Don't kill me. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Nice. So you go to one? <laughs> yeah, it's so the Gyre Sage isn't attacking. Uh, nothing can be blocked because of the champion, but it just arrived along with the mystic. If Renata is removed from combat by the Mazavith, this is 34 damage. <laughs> yeah, uh, I have nothing I can block with, so it looks like I'm taking 34 damage. Bam! <laughs> that how that works? <laughs> Post combat, with cost reduction, we're gonna play Mono Skellion. Which enters the battlefield <laughs> with a plus one, plus one counter. For one colorless mana, you can remove a counter from it to deal one damage to any target. It's Triskelion's cousin. We don't have that mana. <laughs> <laughs> You have to draw like a mana crypt in order to do this. Oh my gosh. Uh, it enters with two counters, one from Renata, one from Great Henge. 
We cast it for free because of Hansa, and we draw a card. It actually enters with three, right? Because it enters with its own one. Oh yeah, it enters with three, you're right. It enters with three counters because of itself, Renata, and the Great Henge. I love we, this for it. <laughs> and we draw a colorless like untapped source. We're gonna move to end step. Oh, which cards do you like the most? Because we, oh, you have a reliquary tower. We Crap. don't have to discard anything. I was gonna discard a good card. <laughs> no, you can't. You just can't. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Uh, Blake. These are mine. All right. Do you want to sit on my lap or do you want to switch chairs? We're moving so, into your side of the table. You pass the turn. What the? Heck? I'm not gonna cast anything at the end of your Gina's turn because you can have your fun. I won't even Zuron orb my own lands. Uh, all righty, untaps. Here we go, baby. Um, let's move to draw step. Look at three with Sylvan Library. Uh, pay eight life without really thinking about it. <laughs> and uh, smothering tithe? Really good. Uh, we're not paying for smothering tithe. One green. Let's cast exploration. I'm not paying for Esper Sentinel. Gina, you may draw. Thank you. Shay, you draw from tithe. Treasure. I'll play a forest and I will draw from Horn of Greed. I will not pay. Cool. Oh, Shay. No. Oh, Shay. Stop. Oh, Shay. I can't believe I drew this. No. <laughs> Retreat to Hagra. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. You're going to choose target creature gets plus one plus L and gains death patch, right? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> it's about, there's other modes? <laughs> no, we're going to play this swamp and each opponent including moi, is going to lose one life, and Blake's going to gain one life. Nice. Any response? Uh, I cry. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's plus two and discard a card, and then draw a card. If it's a land, we'll draw two. I'm going to discard this Cabal Coffers and draw two cards. I like cards. Cards are great. Let's, uh, for three, let's go ahead and cast the Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Mm. So we can play an additional land. Mm -hmm. Let's play the Command Tower. Let's draw a card. Let's give a creature plus one plus oh in Death Touch. Uh, it can be my Soul Cleaver creature. That seems fine. Right. Uh, let's cast a crop rotation. I'm, uh, I'm gonna sacrifice a land and go see what lands are in Blake's deck that I can find. This is absolutely great. We're gonna get a Bazooka Bog. <laughs> We're gonna target Blake. Blake <gasps> is gonna, I'm sorry, Blake is going to target himself with the Bazooka Bog. In response to that trigger, we're gonna tap these for mana. We're going to sacrifice all of these to Zurin Orb and gain 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 life. What is happening? <laughs> he just really wanted to make sure I wasn't going to die to your next swing. We're going to use the mana to cast Infernal Grasp targeting the Dryad of Elysian oh! Grove. <laughs> you killed him. And then we're going to resolve the ex the uh, Bajooka Bog trigger and exile your whole graveyard. <laughs> Evil. If you guys are looking for a new friend, I'm also looking for new friends. <laughs> oh, and just so you know, I drew your worst possible combo, Kodama and a Gruel Turf with the retreat off the top as well. So you would have won. Does that help? No. <laughs> All right, <Thanks>. my turn. <laughs> All right, let's untap. Let's lose four. Down to 13. Got my hand sweet. Draw for turn. All right, we're gonna tap <clears> the one <throat> ring. We're gonna try to draw it. We're gonna draw five. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> uh, land for turn draw from Horn of Greed. Um, yeah. I'm just remembering I also get a plus one, plus one counter from your Dryad of Elysian Grove, getting Infernal Grass. Sure, buddy. <laughs> just remembering. Uh huh. All right, uh, let's play Canine Mark One. This for one and blue can tap to make a legendary creature unblockable until end of turn. It's an artifact. I'm going to discard this blue delta and draw with the genius. Let's play this mana crypt. Let's discard and draw with the genius. Discard a vandal blast. Uh, let's cast a faithless looting. <laughs> let's draw two. No, discard two lands. Let's flash back the faithless looting. Just let me have my 
of turns. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play magic. <laughs> I kind of want you to play magic too. But I gotta to try to win. <laughs> I got a chance. I gotta try. Um, discard two lands. Arcane Signet, draw, discard and draw. I'll discard Emery and draw. All right, then we're gonna do that. It's Dockside Extortionist for 11. <laughs> Yikes. All right, I'm going to make 11 treasures, which is going to trigger the genius, because they're all enters the battlefield. I'm gonna discard, draw, discard, draw, discard, draw. Discard, draw, discard, draw. This is Banger. real magic. <laughs> discard, draw, discard, draw, discard, draw, three more. Discard, draw. Hold. Uh, I'm going to sack 11 treasures. I float a man, ele, 11 man I'm not going to use. I'm going to go up to 25 plus one plus one counters on the genius. All right. Uh, Blasphemous Act. 13 damage to all creatures. I, I go to 39 plus one plus one counters. All right. All my stuff pretty much dies. This is <laughs> Thanks a lot, CGB. <laughs> That's what I do. I Check have back in I believe. people. I know where the keys are, and I can leave you here. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time I was left at a game store. <laughs> well, I did think that you left my board rather cluttered with the way you tap things, and now it's just not even a problem. Yeah. Would you like all this dice? I'll just leave it over here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Is your board cluttered? <laughs> Hello? Um... Uh, Gina? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna attack you for 42. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. I will take 42, begrudgingly. And, um, Blake, it's you your are turn. Walking. <laughs> All right. You made the fatal flaw. You left me alive. <laughs> See what you can do. Absolutely nothing to do. <laughs> you've got exploration, you've got a horn of greed, and if you've got a retreat. I've got 13 health, I've got 5 counters on a 1 ring, and I have a mana crypt. I know, oh, I, I'm, I've been thinking about those things for quite a while. Yeah, yeah, if you can somehow sneaky, you have Lord Wingrace on 3. You exiled my stinking graveyard. I did exile I'm gonna your pay graveyard. Eight for, I'm gonna pay 8, I don't think it's gonna ma matter. 8 into library, got Into it. library. Okay. Oh, you get your soul ring back. Oh, that Cause, does Cause Gina help. died, yeah. oh. Oh snap. Does that help? Oh, 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 what have I done? All right, well, I'm gonna play a Gruel Turf. Interesting. Trigger on the stack, so I get a retreat to Hagra, so you lose a life and I gain a life. Yep, 12. Um, I will also draw a card off Horn of Greed. In response, I'm gonna sacrifice it to Zeranorb to gain two life. Okay. I'm gonna play Wooded Foothills. Okay. This is gonna trigger a retreat to Hagra. I go to 11, you go to 39. I'm gonna sack the Wooded Foothills. I'm going to shock in a stomping ground. Uh huh. This is going to deal one damage to you. Okay. And I'm gonna gain a life from the hog row. Get him, Blake. If you Let's go. beat me after the, after do what I did it. to you. Do it. Avenge I'm all gonna, of us who were used. Oh, we're gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna minus Lord Windgrace. Goodbye, cat. You served me well. I you knew I should have trucker. crossed that little bugger. And I'm going to get Gruel Turf and Wooded Foothills back. Yeah. Gruel Turf, I'm gonna bounce itself back to my hand. You're gonna lose two life and I'm gonna gain two life. Okay, I'm at eight. I'm gonna crack Wooded Foothills. Yeah? I'm gonna get Bayou. Oh, actually, I also draw from playing Wooded Foothills with the Horn of Greed. Okay. All right, you play the Bayou, that's a trigger, right? Yep, so that'll trigger a retreat to Hagra. You'll take one damage and I'll gain a life. I'm at seven. I'm going to pay four. I'm gonna cast Escape Shift. I'm gonna sacrifice my two lands. No, freaking <laughs> What the heck is happening? <laughs> I hate freaking lands! I hate this deck! I love I lands! I hate this deck I so love much. lands! That is such good timing for Escape Shift. I am going to get, with my two lands from Escape Shift, I am going to get Glacial Chasm and Undergrowth Stadium. 
Yeah. That's going to lose you two life, and I'm going to gain two. Yeah. And then I'm going to sacrifice Five. the undergrowth stadium to my own glacial chasm. Okay. Now that says... Um, cumulative upkeep of two life. Yep. When glacial chasm comes into play, sacrifice land. I cannot attack. All damage dealt to me is reduced to zero. I'm going to pass the turn. <laughs> Lands! 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 I don't want to go. Look how cute the cat is! <laughs> Not after all this. I don't want to go. <laughs> My evil plans! <laughs> so we'll go to your upkeep. You Trigger on the stack. stack. You got some stuff. Trigger on the stack. Trigger on the stack. I'm gonna tap the one ring. Draw six cards. <laughs> gonna draw six cards. Pendlehaven, Offer, Yavamaya, Flooded Strand, Gamble, Shadow Spear. Let's go! <laughs> and I'm <laughs> dead! <laughs> Wow. Let's go! Let's go, Blake. <laughs> no! That was nuts! That was like big villain mode too! <laughs> you oh. do the you you do the Let bump. me get this for ya. Um well I guess with CGB otherwise preoccupied with uh incapacitated. Yep, yep, he's uh, <laughs> he's crying. Uh let's cut to uh the card of the game. And we're back. <laughs> the cool stuff inc.com. Card of the game. And I'm going to give the card of the game to what should have been its finest hour, its coming out party, its moment in the sun. Uh, Tarion Soul Cleaver. Tarion, wherever you are, I tried to cleave all the souls. And I was pretty sure with 39 plus one plus one counters. And an opponent with no lands <laughs> that I was in position to win the game. I really thought I had set it all up, but I didn't. But that's not a reflection on Terry and Soul Cleaver, <laughs> a card that tried to carry me to victory. Very cool card, card of the game. Gina, what is your card of the game? Well, first off, I want to give an honorable mention to the party tree. Hey, hey. Because it was the most fun we had in the game every time we got to party. Well, uh, I think it's the greatest hinge, honestly. Um, <laughs> But the real card of the game for me is the damning verdict because because the she best said a creatures swear. have counters <laughs> on it. <laughs> Demonetize verdict. <laughs> because yeah. the best creatures have counters on it. Yeah. That's yeah. fair. I mean, so this is your first time playing the deck, yes. right? I Ever. mean, what'd you think? Like oh, that I was love it. that was explosive. It was yeah? terrifying. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, I love to get big and punch. <laughs> That's it's very true. fun for me. <laughs> Excellent. Well, Blake, Blake, God. Wow. I can't believe that. I, I, Honestly, uh, CGB, if I have to say one thing, get wrecked! So, mycoolstuffinc.com, card of the game. Honorable mention is Retreat to Hagra. It actually killed two players this game. Sorry, Shay, that was not me. Um, but the actual card of the game went to my Wooded Foothills that I top decked <laughs> that I needed off the Horn of Greed to actually get the last couple points of damage in to get enough landfall triggers. So, wood, uh, Wooded Foothills, you were right at the right spot, and I was able to kill CGB with no lands on the battlefield at the start of the turn, <laughs> which is just the dream, honestly. I hate myself. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, Shay, yeah. t save me, card of the game. <laughs> Stop him from talking anymore. <laughs> my card of the game was Light Paws. Uh, yeah, I didn't get to do a ton of things this game, but what I did get to do, it was mostly with Light Paws, and he was really the last line of defense against Gina, although it didn't end up mattering that much. But, you know, Light Paws, he's great. He, he put in the work for me. He is great. He is, he, he's, he's also terrifying. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. You what? played him before, oh, right? Okay. Yeah, I remember. I blocked that game out, actually. <laughs> Speaking of games that we can block out, that's probably what I'm going to go do right now. But remember to use the promo code WORST, like Blake. Just think of Blake, the worst, <laughs> at checkout on CoolStuffInc.com for a 5% discount. And also check out Ultimate Guard, link in the description. Show your love for the show. Thank you for watching this video. 
I'm gonna go cry in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> and as always, you're cool. cool.